Hello, and welcome to another Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com, and we will press on the code link right here, and then hit the copy, and that copies our template. And then we'll paste that into Atom, like so, Scroll on up and get rid of the circle stuff in the middle, although we will be using a circle today. But we'll get rid of the stuff that's in the template, and that leaves us with put your code here and a stage.update, and we are ready to go to build some parallax. Yes, so parallax is an amazing effect. Zim makes it easy. And we will parallax a bunch of circles, and it'll be a little bit tricky because we're going to parallax a tunnel so that it looks like we're looking through a tunnel. And the idea behind parallax is the things that are closer move the most, and the things that are farther away move the least. And we'll make a small circle first, and that will be the far end of the tunnel, so that will move the least, and then bigger circles will move the most but those bigger circles will actually be behind the smaller circle <laughs> when we build it. So, all right, let's start the timer now, shall we? There goes the timer, and to start, we'll need some parallax. So, const parallax is equal to a new parallax. Here's the Zim parallax class. We'll also make some colors. Const colors for these circles is equal to a series. So here's a Zim series. And we can put uh, the colors in there that we want. Blue, pink, green, yellow. These are the Zim colors, so they don't need quotes, but you can use HTML colors. And now we'll loop. We'll loop seven times, how about? And each time we loop, we will be given uh, the eye, and we'll use an arrow function in here, like so. We will make a circle for each one. Let circle equal a new circle. And we did some calculations to get the radius down. And we don't want it linear, but it all the radius will be based on i getting bigger. Um, but we're going to uh, make it exponential. So we'll multiply it by each other. And that way, they get bigger faster as they, as they get bigger. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll multiply all that effect by a value, and that will get it, get us some circles in there. And then the color will be colors, and we'll run that function. So every time we run the series function, it gives us the next color in the series. We'll center this on the stage and put it at position zero. So as they get bigger, they get put behind. And we save that up, and let's see what that looks like. Open in browser. So here's the first circle we made, and then we add the other ones in behind. There we go. And you can examine that a little bit later if you so desire. So uh, now we will add this to um, our parallax. So parallax dot add layer. And the layer we want to add is uh, the OBJ is the circle. The uh, prop that we want to change is the X prop in quotes, and uh, the prop change, prop change property or parameter, prop change, will be some amount. So we won't move the first one very big, but all the rest of them will move by I times 40. And again, we, you can play with that uh, type of thing. And let's see what we get when we parallax this. So we refresh here. And imagine it's a tunnel. You're looking down the tunnel. Now, there is a problem. As we get to there, you see how the, the, the far one overlaps the other? So we're going to have to deal with that. And the way we deal with it is each circle, if, especially if you move more, is going to have to be masked. So stage dot get child. We don't have the, um, the names of these, but get child at. We can use the get child at. This is the very last one. We're going to set the mask on that to be the uh, the one before it. So that would be, and you might have to do this depending on how much you move, you might have to do this right along in the loop itself. Uh, but for now, that should give us uh, the solution, which did not, let's see, set mask. Oh, that needs to be dynamic as well. True, because we're moving things um, dynamically. So there we go. 
So anytime you're moving the mask, which we are doing, we're moving it with parallax, you've got to set it to be a dynamic mask, unless you're using Zim Drag or Zim Animate, which does it for you automatically. Okay, so uh, back to it. Let's do the Y as well. We'll parallax the Y. And uh, the Y value can parallax less, so we'll do 10. Not only that, we, we want to split that, so um, the input will be different as well. Input is the mouse Y. And we also want to split that. So the X automatically splits so that as, uh, as you sort of go up and down, it, it's based on the middle position. Well, Y is not that way. And none of the other ones, only X is like that. So we're splitting that effect is of the parallax effect. And then, as you can see, it's sort of centered there. You, you can try it out for a different effect, if, if not. So that's looking pretty cool. But what might look even cooler is um, doing the... Uh, the scale as well. So let's change the property of the scale and that will be based on the Y as well. So we'll copy the input from the Y up here. And how much are we going to change? We'll change only um, twice as big. Uh, there we go. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we can pause that timer. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's see if we got the parallax working how we liked. Oh yeah, doesn't that look cool? Now one effect, uh, if you want to start the timer, you can really, but I think I'd rather make that color on black. There we go. I think we could have done that in four seconds if we really wanted to. And we refresh here and there we have it. We have coded parallax in five minutes. A really cool parallax tunnel. Do you like it? That is Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. And I'm Dr. Abstract. Do I always sound really happy when I finish these things? It makes me a little giddy to be able to code something in 5 minutes. Now, I know you are you might be new to Zim. You're coming in and you might, you know, you probably wouldn't have been able to do that in 5 minutes unless you know what you're doing. But uh, what we're doing in this series is it's less of a less of a teaching series and a bit more of an inspirational series or a demonstration series. So eventually, when you get better at Zim, you'll be able to code this kind of stuff in five minutes as well. And that's where we're at. So come on in and find out more at zimjs.com. And you're welcome to join us at zimjs.com slash slack. We hope to see you there. Ciao.